we have an update on the James Franco, John Leguizamo kerfuffle. I am Mecca off camera today so far. And who are you? Why are you here? I am off camera Shlomo. <laughs> And we got we got some updates to this James Franco, uh, what's it? John Leguizamo oh. casting thing kerfuffle. Are, are you doing re 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 with your picture? We're doing re 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 with my picture. Re -re -re. I think that the P score might be helpful if I am not taking up and going off the frame off of the window. So we'll try that today. Oh. And if anybody has a problem with that, well, we'll be live and you can yell at me then today. John Leguizamo slams. This is what happened a couple of days ago. Slams James Franco's casting of Fidel. Cash saying he ain't Latinos that was still going on uh-huh uh, because it's called acting I thought we were in, we were under the impression we have to have the best actor for the part regardless as long as they look the most like the no, part. It's, it's all about if it's all about who the guy actually is and we're not allowed to make a stretch as an audience don't you know that yeah so despite the fact that that John Leguizamo has played gay and he's not gay. He's oh played my. Italian and he's not Italian. He's played how many other he's things? He's played a demonic clown and he's not a demonic clown. Well. Well, he's a clown. Well, we don't know how demonic he is, but let's, let's just assume he's not a demonic clown in real life. I mean, I have no idea what his pronouns are. As far as we know, he might be clown his self. His clown self doesn't approve of <laughs> the casting of clown for clown part. <clears throat> I think I think this is a lot of professional jealousy and hoo-ha because he didn't get the part himself. What do you think? Because because we have some updates on this. What is We have somebody who actually kind of knows who should be playing Fidel Castro weighing in on this one. But before we get into that, what do you think on all of this? First of all, the guy's name is Franco. <laughs> okay? You ever hear of a guy named Generalissimo Francisco Franco who's still dead? As Chevy Chase used to say. <laughs> this just in, Generalissimo Francisco Franco is still dead. <laughs> I mean... Uh, second... Yeah, uh... What's John Leguizamo done lately? You know, I'd be more ticked off at your agent. Like, how could you not get me this audition? <laughs> he probably did audition. He's just too funny and weaselly voiced and, uh... I, guess. I never really liked John Leguizamo. I ne he was always being a big deal, touted as a being a big deal. I never liked him. He's the slob in the Ice Age movies, right? I, I think perfect, so. Perfect, perfect casting for him. Is that tree slob so. that goes extinct because he's chasing nuts? Uh, that's, that's the only thing that I think most people even know that he's been in lately. He's doing Disney voices, Pixar voices. Okay. So, uh, I think this is a lot of professional jealousy. There's other actors who have weighed in, other Latino, because they're not using the Latinx you, you know, in Hollywood anymore, because, you know, frankly, that's a little listophobic, isn't it? You know, we, we've... We, okay, let me, let me just put this out here, okay? This has been going on. This didn't start with this here. This has been going on for a few years. There were people that were very upset that a um, a, a Latino, Latinx, or whatever kind of actor didn't play Khan in, in Star Trek Into Darkness and was played by Bendit Cumberbatch. <laughs> and it's like, oh, well, uh, there should have been a, a, a Latin character, uh, actor to play Khan. Like, uh, you do he was Indian, though. But you do realize that Ricardo Multiban, who was Mexican, played a Sikh who wasn't like it wasn't even the same ethnicity. So what are you complaining for? And they tried, they got hot, they tried to get Javier Bardem, they tried to get uh, Benicio Del Toro, both of them were busy. Okay, I guess we go with Cumberbatch. But there are other actors than that Benedict <laughs> Cumberbatch. Cumberbatch was a big global star in Sherlock. I mean, Jesus, come on. I mean, he, he, he wasn't exactly on the downfall. He was kind of on the rise and used that as a stepping stone up to Doctor Strange, I think. Yeah, exactly. As a, see, I can play, I can play outside of this. I can, I can play, play menacing. Anything. I can play, I'm not just a, a you know, a tortured genius. I can play bad guy and menacing and, you know, deep, Mr. Deep Voice. Okay, but, but getting back to this. But like I said, it's, it's, this has been, this has been going on for how long now? I mean, come on. 
We, we, we can only play the things that we already are. No, it's called acting. The whole idea is to be another person. Now, in my last video on this, I made the joke that he, that, uh, that Castro and the president guy of Canada look very similar. And there's all these crazy conspiracies going around. And who knows what's real in this dimension? Ooh, he's not my father, eh? Yeah, yeah. So so we don't know who is, is what anyway. I couldn't tell you what ethnicity anybody what's... is anymore or what's going on. Because all I can see is is a professional actor who played Luigi Mario in one of the worst adaptations of anything ever. I, it's a pleasure to meet me. <laughs> the old Mario that Brothers. Was, I think they just had that movie written. They plugged Mario and Luigi into it. I think so. Yeah. I think they had some like treasure hunter -y sort of. Da freaking... Dennis Hopper was what, Bowser or whatever. Oh, I, I know a lot of people like it as a guilty pleasure, but for crying out oh. loud, Jolly Rosalba just comes across as just really, really whiny and petty in this, especially when he Here's the update. C Castro's daughter herself says James Franco ha is amazing right. for the casting of her father. In the so you think she would know better? She would know better. I mean, I'm so tired of these these petty little virtue signaling. Let me into the cult Hollywood. I'll slam the the race swapping uh -huh. and let me into the diversity, diversity, uh -huh. diversity cult. Incredibly diverse, diversity, diverse, diversity. Guys, look at the moon. <laughs> Diverse, 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 diversity, diversity. Let me, let me, let me virtue signal loud enough so you know I'm part of you. I'm not one of them. I'm part of you. If, listen, if he doesn't look like Castro, I don't know who does. I think he could pull off a good Castro looking thing. So Alina Fernandez, who serves as consultant on the film, has applauded the obvious physical resemblance between Franco and her communist leader father. Uh -huh. Franco's casting as Fidel Castro in the upcoming period piece, Alina of Cuba. L oh, I can't pronounce that. Can you try that? You're closer. He, he uh, rebelde, rebelde, re <laughs> rebelde, rebelde. Oh, I can't la pronounce that. La Hia Rebelde. You're closer to being Italian than I am to trying to pronounce something in Spanish, so has caused a major... I mean, I'm only saying that because the root languages are similar. Don't be yelling at me in the... Both, <laughs> you guys don't, but those bo bots they're, do. They're both called romance <laughs> languages. So. They're very similar. Has caused a major backlash, but the Oscar nominee has one important supporter, Castro's daughter, Alina Fernandez. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm assuming this Alina of Cuba is her right there. I think she has more of a say than the sloth from Ice Age, the tree sloth. I, I, okay, so it's probably going to be told from her perspective. <laughs> yeah. You know, it was like growing up with your father uh, as, a, as a dictator. As, yeah. James Franco has an obvious physical resemblance with Fidel Castro besides his skills and charisma. That's another thing. You kind of need that that sort of charisma of a world leader. Yeah. You need a certain the certain He the, could be a, certain, he could be a maniacal dictator. I mean, look at him. Yeah. Leguizamo just looks like a petty bitch. I hate to say it. <laughs> I hate to say it. He looks like the guy who's gonna you're you're you're, you're dropping your car off at Jiff, Jiffy Lube. <laughs> He's the guy who's just mad that he didn't get more famous. I think. Yeah. So so do you do you want the the, the five thirty this time or the ten thirty all season? Uh. Yeah, I mean. No, no offense to John Leguizamo. He's fine, but it just comes off so petty to be yeah. calling this stuff out in this day and age, uh. especially when when you have the daughter of the person that, that that Franco's playing saying it's fine. Fernandez told Deadline of This is the End Star portraying her communist leader father. The project is almost entirely Latino, both in front of and behind the camera. Fernanda, Fernandez added, citing Franco's Portuguese heritage. He's Portuguese. Okay. He's Portuguese. Portugal. So he's white. He's it's right, it's right next door to Spain. It's right next and they, they, for crying out loud, for crying out loud, I find the selection of the cast amazing. The filmmakers worked on, see, if they cast somebody from Spain, they would say they're too white. Yeah. This is what day and age we live in. When, when Adele loses weight, people get mad at her for losing weight. So Never nobody went. can be happy with anything, no matter what people do. Yeah. So it's all just a giant virtue signal. Yeah. I find the selection of the cast amazing. The filmmakers worked a lot. And I can't be more grateful to them for their overall inclusive selection. For Alina of Cuba, Fernandez will be played by Anna. Oh, I can't pronounce that. Let's look her up. Villafane. Villafane. Let's look her up. Oh, okay. she's very pretty. Yeah. She's very white looking, though. Are people going to be mad because she looks too white? Yes. Yes, they are. Uh, probably. Yeah, she's a probably. singer of some kind. Okay. Oh, okay. What's her wiki? What does she do? Uh, she's a... Uh... American actress, singer from Miami, so okay. she probably is Cuban in ethnicity. Oh, she played Gloria Estefan. Oh, okay. Yeah, I could see that. All right. 
And uh, born in 1989. I feel so okay. old. I feel so old. Where yeah, are we? Well. With Mia Maestro starring as Natalia. Natalia. All right. A socialite who he had an affair with resulting oh. in the birth of. So he's sticking in everybody. Ah. He might be the daddy of the president of Canada for all we know. Fidel? Allegedly. You are the father. <laughs> The film, directed by Mar- Miguel Bardem and written by the Motorcycle Diaries scribe Jose Rivera and Pulitzer Prize winner Nilo Cruz, follows the life of Cuban exile Fernandez, who learned she was Castro's biological daughter at age 10. Her mother... Re- so this looks kind of interesting if you want a historical yeah. pers- sort of film. Her mother, Rivaletta, and stepfather sold the family's personal belongings to help fund the start of the revolution. But decades after, Fernandez began, became an outspoken critic of Castro and was classified as a dissident before defecting to Spain in 1993. Oh, okay. Later relocating to Miami. All right, so there's a whole backstory here. Yeah, there's a whole... That's pretty interesting, actually. Sounds pretty interesting. Absolutely. I'll, I'll, I'll watch this movie. Fernandez will serve as a biographical and historical consultant, so she gets the final say, Leguizamo, to Alina of Cuba with production starting August 15th in... Cartagena. Cartagena, all right. And Bogota. Bogota. To me, the most important thing about this movie is the conversation about Cuba is alive, she said. Personally, the experience is so far too unexpected, but more than anything, humbling. The casting of Franco led to criticism in Hollywood amid misconduct allegations against the actor, plus his non-Cuban heritage. Oh, he, they're canceling him? Because he's not a, he's not Cuban. Oh. You have to be Cuban. You can no, he has misconduct the allegations. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, They're canceling that. him for... What yeah. are they canceling him I for? I forgot what it was. It was some kind of scandal. James that. Franco canceled. What did he do? The can- oh, okay. Let the, let, the guy, let the guy have a second chance. Please. Okay, so they canceled them for that. All right. Well, welcome to America. Once you're, once you screw up publicly, you're done forever, Z's, Right? Yes. So the producer responded to Legozama's post, saying his comments are culturally uneducated and a blind uh-huh. attack with zero substance related to this project. Uh, Ooh, this okay. is the producer, John Martiz said. John Martiz O'Fallon continued, I think he should move past himself and also acknowledge the story is about a Latin female immigrant li- living in America who is of historical importance, led by a Latin woman. I'm just an underdog who is making it. So he should also understand that it's kind of disappointing to see our work getting attacked by someone who claims to be a leader of the Latin community. Ooh. So yeah, uh, uh, Legos almost shut your damn mouth. We know it's professional jealousy. You just wanted to work on the damn thing. You think you speak for everybody. And uh, look, it, right there. If that's not Castro, I don't know who is. <laughs> well, I mean, well, maybe maybe the president of Canada might be the next person who could do a good job. Well, but that's a conspiracy. That's a conspiracy, that's eh? That's a conspiracy. What's, what's that a boot? The fuss is a boot taking our citizens. It's a boot not censoring our art. That's a conspiracy, and you can't say those things because they're not real or no. anything ever. What's that a boot? This is not about diplomacy. This is about dignity. All right, look, it's called acting for a reason. I prefer to let the work speak uh, uh, on its speak for itself, judge it on its own merits. I know all those are cliches, but still, there's a reason why you but call. Marie, you said you shouldn't have a race swapped this or that or another. Yeah, well, uh, technically they're not swapping races, okay? You know, it, it's yeah. You know, Cubans it, are pretty fair skinned. Like Osama would have been too dark skinned. Yeah, like Osama. Listen, it's. Let the, let the work speak for itself, okay? I am tired of this whole virtue signaling. I'm tired of this. We've all got to be only what we are. I mean, you know, the, it's it's really kind of you're narrow. You're narrowly focusing on the wrong things. James Franco is a really good actor. You know, as actors go, I'm interested to see what this is about. I'll probably watch this. It sounds like an interesting story, and that's what's been put important here. The whole idea behind movies and acting is not to see yourself, it's to see people that are not you. Yeah, it's not It's not the Mecca Random 42 story about Mecca Random 42. It's not the John Leguizamo story about how he played a drag queen despite him not being one. Yeah. It's not about... <laughs> if I wanted to see myself on screen, then all I'd watch is movies that star Jack Black. Yeah, pudgy failed musician. <laughs> all right. I think that's about all we got to say about this one. I am Becca, and uh, uh, as long as it's not like something super duper obvious, like the Anne Boleyn uh, crap, because that was just insulting. They literally just race swapped it to, to chop off a woman of color's head. Yeah, so. way to go there, guys. <laughs> that was just bad move there. That's, yeah. 
But for crying out loud, like, w when they look enough like the photo, that's the big thing. Do they look like the photo of the actual historical person? In this case, yes. <laughs> in, th in this case, yeah, enough, I think. Separated enough. at birth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Unlike Anne Boleyn and jo Jody Wynn, jo Jolyn Turner, whatever the hell her name was. All right, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye. It's full of what?